got a lot of things I want to ask you. So let, let me start with what's going on with this dog bone thing that, because uh, I saw you like kind of uh, gnawing on it one day. I guess yeah. the, the player of the game gets a dog bone. Yeah, no, it's it's not a dog bone. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's like a, it's a T bone. So what basically what it is, is long story short, one of our, one of our trainers ate this massive piece of steak and it was a bone in piece of meat and he finished the whole thing and it was, he was hurting after, but we we were, <laughs> we basically took it as now it's yeah now it's like basically it's, it just says like hard work best player like someone is just grinding you know because he he grinded finishing that piece of piece of meat <laughs> and then it just came into the room and now it's now it's the bone. So yeah. I, what I understand though apparently it is it is sanitized and everything done appropriately. I, I don't I have no idea. It's, it's gone into <laughs> guys' mouths though. So it's, I don't know where it's stored. I have no idea. I just know it's in someone's hand after the game. I was a little worried. I did see you gnawing on it after yeah, one game. My, yeah, I put it in my mouth. Yeah, everyone, everyone, you got to chew it. Yeah, yeah. It's all part of it. Yeah. It's been working. Yeah, it hasn't worked. It's been working for you guys. I want to take you back to, to late March. You guys are in Toronto for that game against the Leafs. And, uh, you know, much has been talked about, like, you know, it was a really important game for you guys. Paul kind of like, you know, he kind of lost it on the bench a little bit. Earlier in the day, uh, Keith Kachuk was on the radio in Toronto and talked about like the team, just not, they're not, they're getting what they deserve. They're not hard enough. Like the coach goes after you, that's one thing. I mean, you've lived with that stuff, right? But when you hear it like, I mean, he's a great player, but he's somebody's father on the team. Did, did you guys talk about that at all? Cause like Keith is a terrific guy and he understands what it's all about. Yeah, it was it was talked about a little bit in, in the next day in the in the room, but I, it was more like like Chucky, <laughs> your dad's coming after us. He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, he wasn't wrong. Like, you know, he wasn't. And and I mean, our room's pretty self-aware. Like, you know, we knew we we weren't at, in that that stretch. We weren't playing the way we needed to play to 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 get in. Um, and then yeah, we have that game in Toronto where we need you know, I mean, we need to win so many games yeah. near the end. It wasn't <laughs> that that game was no different. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, we just we just kept going after it and and and, and uh, found our way in. Yeah. Oh, hey, listen, it's it's kind of like a little youth hockey there, like you know somebody's dad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was funny. I mean, he, I mean, Keith's had an unbelievable uh, yeah. career and and uh, he knows his hockey and, oh, yeah. and uh, I mean they're a great family and uh, you know it was. Uh, no, nobody was too offended by it. You know, we, we, I mean, we kind of took it. We took it like, yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah. Well, listen. At the end of the day, it's all worked out yeah. for the best. Let me ask you. This is your second trip to the Stanley Cup Final. You were with the New York Rangers in 2014. What is different? Like, just on a day like this, like, is there? Do you notice any differences now, or from what you remember from then? I mean, it was a while ago, so my yeah. memory <laughs> of it is probably a little bit. Um, but you know, I, I think for me. Um, I mean, going to the finals in New York was was, was a ton of fun. Obviously, I had, we had a lot of the same guys that I kind of um, came up with together, and we were trying to uh, try to accomplish something uh, together. And, and and this year's a bit different for me, just coming in uh, in the summertime and, and meeting these guys and 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 and, um, and just growing with them throughout the year. So um, I'm enjoying this. I think probably soaking it in a bit more than I I, uh, I did the first time around, and knowing knowing how how rare it is to, to get here and how hard it is to get here, and and uh, um, just me and our family just 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 having a blast, to, uh, and and hopefully uh, we're on the right side of it this time. Yeah. Do, you, do you think the experience will help you and help something that you could share with your teammates? Because your group, there's not a lot of guys that have been this far along. Yeah, I I think just the fact that. It's it is rare. You, you you get here, and especially if these guys are younger and um, they're and you know they played a few years and they get to the final, and they might think it's going to happen every year, and, and and it doesn't, and it's not easy, and um, and that that shouldn't add pressure. That should just make you enjoy it more. And 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 I think our team has done that a great job throughout this run of just taking it day by day and having a lot of fun with it. And um, I don't think we feel too much pressure, and uh, it's it's been a blast. Well, at least you don't have to play against your brother in this series so that's probably a little relief right yeah it's nicer to play him last round than in the final one i guess yeah. but it was still it was still hard um obviously um knocking him out uh he, he's competed there for uh, for so long and he wants to win a championship in, in carolina and uh, to kind of crush that is, is tough but um you know it's uh it's a game and, and i was on the other side of it when he won he he beat me along the way so yeah. um Hopefully, um, I can win it this time. All right. Well, two stalls are still alive. You and your brother Eric. Last thing, Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, they're the top team in the West. What do you make of them, and what do you have to do to beat them? Oh, I mean, they're 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 so deep. They have four great lines. All their D can move. 
um, great goaltending. So, I mean, you don't get to this point with all those things, and, and um, we'll have our hands full. But, I mean, we, uh, we're we going to play our game. We're going to play it as hard as we can, and I'm sure we'll make adjustments along the way. It's going to be a, lo a long series, and uh, we're looking forward to it. All right, Mark. Thanks for the time. Good luck. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.